Hi, Debbie Simintelli here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a watercolor background to um, use as a background for an invitation. So I, I worked on this one with these colors that I think worked out really well. I'll kind of hold it this way so you can show. And I'm going to dive in with on the other side and use some other colors. I was walking the other day and saw this beautiful um, bed of flowers and there were some beautiful pansies and there were some purple and yellow and orange. So I'm going to try one more time to um, using that color palette, bringing in a little bit more purple. Now what I've got is, um, oh, let me show you the watercolor paper. So I'm just using this Strathmore watercolor paper and you know you can use probably any watercolor paper that you have on hand but you can get that at any local craft sh craft shop this is gouache paint you can use any kind of um, watercolor paint or gouache paint that you have just a water-based paint works well the important thing for this kind of look is that you really want to get your paper all wet first so we're going to throw the color in to the water and that's going to spread and really give us the look that we want. So be very liberal with your water. You might also want to put some plastic down, just saying. <laughs> I um, This is my light table and I can easily um, just wipe it off. But you can see when you add the color how it's spreading like that and if you want you can add more water if you want to get it to go off the edge. And I'm going to throw in some, I'm going to throw in a little bit, oops, a little bit of this which is a um, red violet. So I really want to have very strong color here. That is a popular trend for 2020. Really strong color combinations, very colorful. Let's come down here, move this way. Coming in with orange. I get very inspired by nature and my walks in nature and you should try that if you're sometimes not sure what colors you might like. Just go take a walk, see, look in, or look in your own garden if you have a garden. And then you can like get a paper towel and have it um, drop down to the bottom. So it's going to start to do some blending there when you do that. And I'm actually going to bring in some of this yellow. I didn't even use a palette. I just used a piece of paper here. I need a lot more water over here. So I'm really bringing in a lot of water. Because I want to really see what happens when you let that blend together. Very cool. And for a little balance, I might throw a little bit of the yellow up here. So that kind of balances that. And the good thing too is if you're not happy with something that's happening on the edge, you can always crop it and I want to leave some white space because I think that always complements the colors but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in a little bit more with some of this purple and just let it have some really dark spots. Let's let it drip off the page here. Again, I'm just adding water so I can allow it to kind of flow. It's kind of messy, <laughs> but the look afterwards is worth it. Bring this 
a little bit more here. So I'm just moving it around a lot. Adding water where I want. Again, I'm going to come in with a little bit more of the paint here. I can get a little bit stronger color there. Kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting to just play around. I mean, you could do this several times and see which one you like best. It feels like that was drying in a way I didn't like. Okay, so that's kind of blending there. Got some soft parts. And again, I think I'm going to bring in just a little touch of orange over here. That's, that's just got a little bit too much white in that area. So that is the basic idea. And of course, it kind of um, buckles up because it's got water on it. So once it dries, you can put a heavy book on top of it to get it to flatten out. And then you would just take a picture of it with your phone. I would crop it where you want it on your phone and, you know, do some brightening and just kind of play around with editing it so that it's nice and bright because sometimes the picture that you take on your phone is not going to, it's going to dull a little bit. So you want to brighten it up and then you can send it to yourself. Um, if you want to send it through email or you can add it to your Dropbox and then access it when you're on your computer and you can use it to create a beautiful springy colorful summer invitation for something i'm going to use this for a wedding invitation demonstration that i'm doing to show people how to use my new font hello my love in word because i know a lot of people do not have some of the more sophisticated programs and you can create an invitation in word and it will look beautiful Okay, I hope that this was helpful to you, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.